All right, you guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a battery test with the Pico Scope. What we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll click on Pico Diagnostics. And while this is loading, I'm not saying, you know, that you can't use uh, some other way of testing a battery. Uh, I'm just simply saying that if you have a Pico Scope, uh, this is a test that you can do with it. And it seems like a very good thorough test. So, I mean, it's available to you, so why not use it? All right, up here you see battery test, so we'll click on that. And then down here you'll see, you know, start, analyze, voltage, battery type, the temperature, cold cranking amps, etc. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come over here, we'll check the temperature of the battery. So we were at 31 degrees Celsius. Alright, then cold cranking amps is 700. All right, then what we'll do is I have uh, I already have my two channels hooked up uh, on the first channel. I just have my regular leads to connect to the battery, the positive and negative. So we'll go ahead and get those hooked up. And then on my second channel, I have my amp clamp. Uh, that's plugged into second channel, like I said, so we'll flip it on. And then you'll want to hook this around the cable going to the starter. Like so. And then what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll hit start and it will want us to start the engine. All right. <clears throat> doing its capture. All right, let's go there. We'll shut the battery or shut the core off. And then we'll take a look at what it's telling us. Okay, initial voltage was 12.6, which is awesome. 90% state of charge. Drop down to lowest voltage, 9.37, which is good. If you get below, I think around 8.5, 8.6 volts, that's when you're going to have some issues. Uh, current, 820. Condition is good, 100%. Charging at 100%. Fourteen point five volts, 218 millivolts, 50.6 amps of current. Up here it shows you, here's where you turn the key, here's where you crank, this is your battery voltage drop. And then here's your voltage spike for the amperage. One thing that's nice as well is you can print this out uh, and give it to your customers. I will uh, print it out and I will show you what it looks like after it's printed out. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like printed out. Um, when you hit print, it gives you the option to put in details. So I put in, you know, the Tahoe and then ID. You could, you know, use a customer's name or whatever. I mean, we use last six of the VIN here. Um, but then this is all your information. It's a nice little graph. People enjoy seeing stuff like that. Uh, then it gives you a place for notes. Uh, don't pay attention to the after alternator. I forgot to delete those notes from a car I did the other day. But then a signature line, and <clears throat> what I did is I printed out one pre-alternator <clears throat> and then another one after alternator so the customer had something, you know. kind of makes them feel good like they you know, kind of getting something, you know, they have proof. Uh, so I'm just saying this is a great way of testing stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's available, so like I said, use it, learn it. I mean, become good at it, and auto diagnostics is where it's at. You can pretty much write your ticket anywhere you want to go if you know electrical and you know how to, you know, you know your way around a scope and just diagnostics and stuff. You can 
really make some good money. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will uh, bring you some more uh, scope tests. If you guys have any uh, maybe suggestions on videos you want to see, then please let me know in the comments. And hope you guys enjoyed it.